Hello friends, welcome to my channel once again. In today's video, we will learn how you can enable uh, a Windows feature called Hyper-V. And if I will, I'll just show you why do we need Hyper-V, what exactly is Hyper-V. Hyper-V uh, is something that we need uh, for virtualization platform. If you want to create uh, a virtual machine on your computer, so this is something you should have and it should be enabled. By default, Hyper-V is disabled and there is a way you can enable it. So that is something we will learn in this video. And uh, like Hyper-V is something that provides you virtual components on a computer. So Hyper-V specifically provides hardware virtualization. Uh, that means each virtual machine runs on virtual hardware. As I said, it will provide you uh, virtual hard drive, virtual switches and virtual devices which can run on your computer and you can have another computer in your actual computer. For example, I'm running Windows 10, but I can use Windows 11 also on the same machine using VMware software. So I'll just minimize this and in order to enable Hyper-V, you will have to go to control panel. So click on start and simply search for control panel and click on control panel. You can also search for control panel in the search box. And once you have a control panel option available, click that. I'll just maximize it. Now in control panel, click on the option category and make it small icons. Now click on programs and features and at the left hand side if you see there will be an option turn windows features on or off click that option and you will get a list of windows features so some of them are enabled but most of them are by default disabled you can enable them by simply clicking or by simply putting a check in the box and after selecting that, click on OK. And as soon as you click OK, your computer will ask you to restart. So go ahead and restart your computer. So let it complete. It may take a few seconds or a minute. Okay, Windows completed the requested change. Click close. And then you may get, uh, you may get an option to click on restart. So just go ahead and restart your computer. I'll close it from here. And we'll just restart the computer. Okay, so our PC has restarted. Now, if you go to control panel again, you will see the option will remain enabled. So in control panel, click on programs and features, turn windows features on or off. And now you can see the Hyper-V feature is enabled. 
if you want to disable it repeat the same process simply uncheck it click on ok and it will go through a process once this process completes you can close this window and restart your computer on my computer it is not giving the option to restart because I'm working on a virtual machine but you may get an option to restart the computer so go ahead and restart the computer and it will make the desired change so that's it in this video thank you very much for watching please click the like button if you like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you again and you have a great day bye bye